Before we go on to style our presentations and do more work customizing the look of everything, we're going to have to understand how Video Sam approaches styling. Unlike other applications, you can't just uh, find a, uh, find an option somewhere and decide, okay, this is going to be the background color that will be used throughout the application until I change it, or this is going to be the text color and what have you. Video Sam uses what is called a hierarchical approach to styles, which means you can pretty much customize everything and make everything look unique, be it Bible verses to chapters or books or uh, songs or song books, a group of songs. You can give each and every one of them their own unique styles if you want. So I'm going to explain it with um, a diagram. Actually, on the website, they have a diagram illustrating this concept from the lowest to the highest level. So at the lowest level, we have the base and at the base level, whatever settings you apply gets applied to everything, everything on this, on the, on the soft, in the software. So that way you, at the base level, if I set my background to red, then it means when I display my songs, my Bibles, display images or PowerPoint slides, videos, they will all have that red background up to the very verses of Bibles and songs. But if I were to come up again and say, all right, I understand that the base color is black, but at this point, I want to make Bibles unique and I want Bibles to have a different background color. So when I switch to Bibles, it's going to have the color um, blue as background. The moment I set that here, everything else on that Bible inherits that setting. So from up here, I have a black background, but once it gets to the Bibles, we have the blue background and every other thing adopts it until I come up again and decide, all right, I want only the Amplified Bible to have an orange background. So you, you, you see it's at various levels and the same applies for the rest of, uh, for the other branches of the hierarchy. I'm going to explain it further with um, a few illustrations here and I'm going to illustrate it using the concept of um, a state. Let's look at an imaginary state. Okay. Now that state is in a country, but um, because for the sake of space, I'm not just going to start from the federal level as it were. I'm going to start from a state and we understand that every state is made up of communities and communities are made up of families now then i mean in the real world it might be it might be a bit more complex but let's just assume this is what it is and families are made up of individuals okay at the state level i'm just going to represent this here with a circle it's best i can draw it so at the state level we have uh the state then communities and let's assume this um, state has two communities so we have community A and community B and in these communities are families and each community is made up of two main families also and these families are made up of three individuals each so let's say the parents and one child parents and one child now we discover we see that there's a hierarchy going on here from the state level down to the community level and to the families then that's where you find the individual so every individual is unique in that they come from specific families which are also in specific communities and from a specific state now let's assume a the state decides to adopt a color and the state says all right from here on we are going to be called the yellow state now that yellow gets passed on to everyone in the state so for as long as you are in that state you're going to take on the yellow color we're going to be called the yellow state all right so that yellow has been applied to the whole state but at then at the community level they say, yeah, we are communities of the yellow state and we are going to adopt the yellow, but we also want 
our own color to distinguish us and so community a decides fine we like that but we're going to take magenta as well so we're going to be yellow and magenta so here's what's what's happening community a inherits the yellow of the state and also takes on their own magenta style so we are both the yellow and the magenta uh, community but then b says well i like um we, we, we appreciate the yellow but we want something different so we're going to take this uh, cyan i think that's cyan yeah and nothing about the yellow so community b decides well we don't want to inherit the yellow we want just that our aqua or rather cyan so they take on this cyan and the same thing also at the family level families decide all right yeah we are in the magenta and yellow community but we want to be red the red family i wonder how that would work the red family <laughs> so that's a red family and the next family decides fine we we'll like all, like all that but we want to be the blue family and so they take on blue and so on and so forth and even at the individual level they could also come up and say fine we are individuals here but for me i am green we are the green uh well we are in the blue family but i'm green the next one says oh yeah yeah i'm also green but the last one says i will be magenta there's only so many colors we can work with here but you get the gist so this one decides to be magenta and each individual is unique in their own right and they can choose to either inherit the colors maybe family b uh the in the community in community b a family could decide yeah we like the yellow of the state and so we're not changing any of that we are going to inherit the yellow of the state and so there's no offense no crime it's optional and so they take on the yellow but the whole point here i'm trying to pass on is it is possible for the communities to inherit properties from the state so the state takes on yellow and they can choose to inherit the yellow or specify their own colors and that's pretty much the gist of the whole thing it's actually a style of inheritance it's a method of inheritance and so these levels can be selected here if, if i if i move mouse over this uh, button here at the, the base button you see on the tooltip that same background that uh, sorry that same diagram is displayed and we can see right down there we have we have the base and then on top of that we have both the song books and the bibles and it's different trees currently in the same way we have bibles here and under bibles we can also set the hierarchy the styles for specific books of specific bibles so here i, I, I now have options option to adjust the styles for the book so whatever styles i adjust here be it the background color be it the text style the font size or the font style it's also it's just going to affect that book of the bible and if i don't go further or higher on the hierarchy to adjust the testament or the bibles it automatically adopts or inherits the styles of the lower level of the hierarchy now in case maybe you've gone through this whole thing and might have by mistake or knowingly or unknowingly made a few changes in these things let's say i think i'm just going to illustrate how the hierarchies work so let me begin from the base level on the base level here just going to expand that okay let me begin from the base level now if i decide that well at the base level i want the background to be let it okay i want to adopt this beautiful sky background at that point then i, I say okay delete all the above style attributes now with that button you can delete all the above style attributes and whatever styles that have been that have been um applied to other attributes will not show up anymore you are you are, you are, you are we're going to begin right now from the base itself so at the base we set the background to this um image the sky sunset image so whatever um text whatever content i decide to display on the screen will always adopt this image the same goes for if i set it at the base level i set the the font style to a different 
uh, font style. Let's say, uh, okay, let's just choose a, a nice uh, sans serif font. Uh, I'm just going to use Century Gothic. And if I choose Sen Century Gothic, you'll find out that that same um, style is applied to every other thing. Now, notice the scripture verses also have changed, have a different font style at the base level because at the base level, I already changed those settings. So, even if I went to song books as well, they will also have this same background and the same font style. So, I'm just going to look at, at the cross here and notice it's still the same font, font style. But what if I decided, okay, I want the background for my songs to be different and the background for my Bibles to be different while the base background remains this same uh, sunset color so i could come over to songbooks you can either select the category here make sure the category is selected and you haven't selected any of the bibles or scriptures now notice it changes up here when i select a book of the bible it changes here so video sam assumes okay whatever setting i'm going to apply is going to be uh, is going to be applied at the book level but what if i want to apply it at the bible at the bible level and not just a, a specific uh, translation because this is a actually the translation level but it's just called bible a specific bible but i want it to be applied at, to, to all bibles so when i select bibles here it switches to a higher level of the hierarchy which is bibles so when i select bibles i can also come over here at the background and say okay i want a motion background for all my bibles so whenever i'm going to display a bible there's going to be a different background so i've already selected it i just need to select a book of the bible and go for a verse and right away that should change yeah it's already changed so now it, it's changed to this motion background so whatever bible i open up now because at the bible's level this setting was already in place for a different background it immediately inherits the background for bibles now i'm not going to bother to go into books but you can also switch uh the colors or the backgrounds or text styles even be between at, at the level of the testaments or even the books of the bible and even chapters and verses now remember whenever in case you because i've personally experienced this before where i notice oh i don't like the background being displayed here and i already have a verse selected so i could just quickly come up here and say okay this is the 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 background i want so i, I just choose this and i say okay that's the background i want to use now and then the moment I move to the next verse, let's let's come back to a book here. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Alright, now the moment I move to a different verse, it changes the background. It, I mean, it just reverts back to whatever it is. And it, it can get frustrating sometimes where, alright, verse, verse 2, this is what we're reading. And then I decide I want to change the background. I don't want that background at all for Bibles. And so I switch to this greenish background. And then when we move on to the next verse, it's back to what I did and it, it gets frustrating. Now, how do you fix that? You, you, you have to realize you are actually working at a higher level of the hierarchy and it's only changing that setting for Bible verses. If I went back to verse 2, you'll notice it returns back to that same background because at the verse level, it, video Sam assumes I made that change for only Bible verses. but what I could do is come over here and set the level. So I say, okay, for Bibles, all Bibles, Bible backgrounds should always have this um, color. So when I set it now, I could go to any other and come to any other verse, and it remains. Now, whenever you you may have modeled up certain things and it's all messed up, you can just come over here, make sure you select the base level and reset everything. So just click on that brush icon and say okay do you want to reset the base style yes so click ok and then delete all the above style attributes yes so now everything is back to its default level so now we can begin again so at this point i'm going to say all right for the base whenever i turn on video sound with nothing selected you could choose a video that says welcome to church this sunday now let's assume well this um image says welcome to church today so I'm going to come to the base level and set this as my default uh, background image. So with that set as my default background image, whenever I turn on video sum, let's let's just come over here. 
no slide whenever i turn on video sound this is what we'll get maybe there's a video saying welcome to church then when i'm ready to display songs or something i would i might want something different so i could come over here and say all right for songs song books i come to song books i can set the background to this purplish motion background and that's going to be applied for songs and i could come to the bibles bibles okay i select bibles here and i'll set this to this grayscale background so whenever i select a bible verse this is what we get something different so this way i'm able to set my um, backgrounds and text styles for everything now notice at the, the text style the font style is this um is the default set text style kandara now i could come at the base level and decide all right for everything i'm going to display in video sound i'm going to set the text style to um, let's see okay i like kind of like this uh, franklin gothic medium so i'm going to set it to franklin gothic medium now with that selected notice i haven't set any text styles for any of the higher levels not for bibles or songbooks but so when i come to bibles it's going to inherit the base style the same font style so even at song at the songbooks level this same font style remains even though the background changes because i only change the font style at the base level not the songbooks level not the higher levels now i could change decide to change the font style for every other thing but at this point i'm only adjusting that property for the base level now you can also view your styles a lot more clearly to see what has been changed or what has not been changed just by clicking on this little icon there either that or here to open the style explorer so when i open the style explorer i'm at the verse level and at the verse level nothing has been changed now notice we don't have any uh icons yeah. along this column but if i come here to the base level let's see that okay let's come to the songbooks level i notice there are icons here that can be that, that have been marked i come to the base level there is nothing okay so that's for the body and for the background if i come to the songbooks now notice the background has been changed so we have the, the the property that icon there now if you want to clear it to, to, to come back to the background you can just clear it right there and it will come back to the base the default base uh, level to set it you could also come over here and ensure we have the songbooks level selected and then come back here to the background then select that so that will be your background and notice the icon comes back to tell you okay you made a change there and at the at this level these are the changes you that have made that have been made